right, well, this is how we test for um, dot four, dot five. What's in your brake system? Uh, dot four fluid, small container of water, uh, just regular old tap water, room temperature. Uh, we can add a little bit of each fluid, uh, one to each container. Uh, it doesn't take much, a few drops really. You'll quickly notice if you can see down in the cup that the dot four immediately emulsifies with the water, turns almost kind of a milky, uh, essentially think of a dissolution or just a solution. Move to the dot five. Number one, dot fives are normally a different color. They're normally purple, blue, or even a bright yellow, depending on the brand that you have. So they're usually a distinguishable color difference, but for older fluid that gets dirty, it's tough to, tough to distinguish, but this test will always do it. Again, add a little to it. You'll notice that the liquid stays uh, in droplet form, does not really dissolve into the water. Even with a swirl, all your bubbles stay and actually will come back together. This is a silicone laden dot five brake fluid. It will not dissolve in water, which is why most people use it in cars that are being stored for a long time or in high end race cars. Um, dot four will absorb water. As we can see, it turns cloudy and milky, absorbs the water. Dot five repels the water. This has been your easy way to test what's in your brake system.